you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. They called me a madman. And what I predicted came to pass. Well, they called me a madman, didn't they? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and at long last, it has finally happened. You guys might have seen it on my stream, or seen it before when it got leaked. The Last of Us remake, after a year and a half of speculation, rumors, etc., has officially been confirmed, announced, official. I didn't lie, I wasn't lying. This leak, the rumors, the speculation, it all, I told you guys, was likely to be true that the whole day has gone to being scrapped. Sony Bend cutting their game, making a new IP, Naughty Dog taking the project on instead of it being just an Uncharted thing. All of it was true. And this is my validation right here, seeing this trailer and finally getting ready for the hype once again. Can't tell you guys how excited I am to finally get back into this. It has been a long journey to get to this point from the end of The Last of Us Part 2 all the way back in June of 2020. It's almost been two long years, guys. At the Summer Game Fest 2022, the ending was better than any Last of Us day I've ever seen. Without a doubt, so much information that it's gonna be split into several videos. We've got stuff on the multiplayer, we've got stuff on this, stuff on the HBO show. It is insane how much information we got. Ooh. And it almost felt like it was a Last of Us day, just with how much Last of Us was centered on the ending. But in this video, I'm gonna be discussing The Last of Us Part 1 Remake. Everything you need to know about it, the information stuff, release date when we could see gameplay, etc. Because, yes, this game is coming out very, very soon. September 2nd is not that far away. It's about 83-ish days away right now at this current moment. So, we're not that far away. All right, if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, join button here for 50% of who are, subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Follow me on social media, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Stay connected with the latest, last of us news and information. I recommend you guys are subscribed because I'm gonna be number one when it comes to this stuff, I promise you that. I'm gonna try my dang hardest, like I did for the last of us part two. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. We'll have a video very soon on the multiplayer and some other last of us stuff, so stay tuned for that. And guys do enjoy this let's get straight into it so why'd you leave Boston I've been on quite the adventure little brother and I reckon it's got something to do with that girl he's got everything to do with that little girl You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. Take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. Wow. What a trailer. But we're going to first play the clip from the Summer Game Fest where Neil Druckmann discusses more about the remake. Uh, we're so excited to- Maybe it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. Well, 
Let's talk about what was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots of talk about uh, the idea, or really what's happening is it looks like you guys are remaking the original game, and this is like a ground-up remake, is that right? That's right. Uh, we wanted to give people the definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any technology. Uh, wanted to find a way to get even closer to our original vision, uh, and we're able to do it on the PS5 and PC, and instead of talking about it, let's look at it. Truly one of my favorite games of the past decade. Guys, what's your reaction to that? Yeah, we uh, hadn't seen that yet. Yeah, you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh, it's Because you did these, I mean, these performances you did a decade ago. Yeah. You didn't go back in. I mean, you used the original performances. Yeah, right? actually, we, we came up with a process where you could take the original uh, animation that we did for the faces and kind of like retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more fidelity. And then the animators went back and We're studied. We're side by sides here, just how much it has changed. That you went and you redid the models and rebuilt everything. Everything was re uh, rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, same art director, re-art directed the whole thing from the ground up. Um, but the, the great thing about these faces is that um, they're closer to the original performance. Our, all the animators went and studied those videos and got it closer to what you did on set than we could have achieved before. Um, and that's just like one of the things um, we could talk about, like this brand new AI, like all the combat is, like, is, is redone. Um, just uh, the fidelity of everything, 60 frames per second, all the stuff you're getting on the PS5. Again, we wanted to give, knowing because of the show, because this, they're all, all new players for PS5 and PC, yeah. we wanted them to have the definitive version of The Last of Us. Amazing, well now you guys get to replay. I mean, when was the last time you guys played the game? I, I actually played it again just to refresh my memory before working on the show. Uh -huh. um, I was a, just a glutton for punishment, and I went straight from playing uh, part yeah, played one it. straight into <laughs> part two. Um, and so the last time that I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm definitely going to be up for another yeah, playthrough I can't, of this. I mean, yeah. I can't wait to go back because it was oh, such I a, I, you guys did such an amazing job on that original game. And it's, it's really when you play it, when you see it in motion, it's really yeah. night and day from what, what it used to be. I imagine that, you know, the, think of The Last of Us 2 combat, but kind of that back in The Last of Us 1. Well, it's the whole, like, all the yeah. new animation system, the new AI system, everything we've learned on, like, Uncharted 4, Last of yeah. Us 2, we apply to this, wow. again, to give that definitive version. Just to give a quick shout-out, uh, this project is headed up by uh, Matthew Gallant and Shauna Skye. Okay. Uh, and you'll hear a lot more about it and see a lot more about it over the coming weeks leading up to the release September 2nd on PS5. All right. And well, shortly thereafter on PC. We will look forward to it. Now, you, Neil, you've talked a lot about games directed by other people. What, what are you directing? You still making games? Still making games. Okay. Uh, I haven't given up my, my day job. Uh, it's a little early to talk about it. Maybe if someone in place wants to leak it, then we can yeah. talk about it now. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, uh, we'll save but it. you do have a new project. Do have a new project, okay. uh, but we'll save it for another summer game fest. All right, so that's a lot. A lot of stuff to discuss. So firstly, let's talk about what Neil Druckmann said, and then I'll go through stuff in the trailer information about the game, etc. So, Neil Druckmann defined this as the definitive version of the original. Now, on the internet right now, there are a lot of people that are saying, this isn't a remake, this is a remaster of a remaster, it's the same thing, it doesn't look that much different, blah blah blah. <sighs> Guys, this is not your typical little, oh, we're gonna increase the brightness up, we're gonna make it a little more HD, like, no, this is a remake, like, everything is being redone, like, I don't think people understand that, that just because, oh, this image looks a little similar to the first, everything's being overhauled, they wanted to get the original Vision, which they're trying to do on the PS5, and he said it's gonna come out on PC a little later, so if you didn't know, The Last of Us Remake is coming out on PlayStation 5 at launch on September 2nd, but PC will be a little later, so my guess, maybe... October, November, December-ish range, maybe early next year at the latest. So, my fellow PC viewers here will be able to finally play The Last of Us if they never had a PlayStation, which is very exciting, especially now the potential with mods now also being thrown to the mix. I found it kind of funny that Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, who played the Joel and Ellie, the original, and part two, were kind of speechless by this. Guys, everything is being rebuilt from the ground up with this. This is not a simple little remaster. I'm so sick of seeing people, even in my comment section, guys, are saying that it's, it's, it's a simple rem It's not a remaster. They're, everything is being redone from the ground up. They're like, oh, this seems lazy. This seems like a cheap money grab. 
blah, blah, blah. Guys, this is Naughty Dog we're talking about. Like, you could say I'm a shill, whatever the hell you want. But you have to admit that they are literally admitting here that this has been taken back from the ground up. The original art director is literally going in, making new models, making everything redone from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 and PC. I mean, I don't know what people are supposed to be happy with. Like, I feel like now since Part 2 came out, nobody's going to be happy with anything Last of Us related because it's always going to have that little stain because of what the people's perception of Part 2. And I hate, to, I hate to be that guy, but it's going to seem like that's going to be the reception of The Last of Us from now on. And, you know, that's probably true. All right, so here are the PS5 features. Enhanced visuals, completely rebuilt from the ground up using Naughty Dog's latest PS5 engine technology to improve every visual detail. The last experience has been faithfully enhanced with more realistic lighting and atmosphere, more intricate environments, and creative reimaginings of familiar spaces. Fast loading, initial loading times are near instant, seamless after the first instant thanks to the PS5, console SSD, so you can pick up where you left off in the story and load encounters and chapters more quickly. Haptic feedback, dual sense wireless controllers, haptic feedback support for every weapon, elevates combat encounters and environments are brought to life through dual sense wireless controllers, haptic sensations of subtle falling rain, and crunch of stepping on snow and more. Adaptive triggers. All the last iconic weapons, including Joel's revolver, Ellie's bow, now deliver dynamic dual sense wireless controller, trigger resistance, and kickback, unfrying for deeper combat immersion. 3D audio, designed to make use of the PS5 with consoles, Tempest 3D audio tech, Nardog's newly upgraded audio engine delivers rich, richer soundscapes, bigger explosive moments, and more visual gameplay through compatible stereo headphones, analog USB, or TV speakers. Neil Druckmann said when you play it, it will be night and day different. So for all you people in the comments and on YouTube, like I've been seeing, they're saying, oh my god, this is terrible, it's a cash grab, blah, blah. Wait till it comes out before you say anything. If it is like that after it comes out, okay then. We were wrong, okay? But please wait until we see gameplay and we see more. These are just images in a trailer. Probably know they could be a little old, who knows? I don't know the, the whole gist, but come on, guys, please. Seriously. It's not that long. September 2nd. It's not. It's like 83 days away right now. So, we'll be here. So, the combat is also being redone. The AI being redone. So, as I've said before in my past videos, predicting what this could be like, it's going to be similar to The Last of Us Part 2. They said also Uncharted 4. The system, the whole setup of it is going to be changed. Which is why it's not just a little remaster. Everything's being overhauled. Which I'm so excited to finally experience this. Hopefully, they will have permadeath and other stuff as well. So I also want to say The Last of Us Factions, the multiplayer that came with the original, is not included in this. I want to make that very clear. I got a lot of comments about that. So the multiplayer is not included. They did reveal that The Last of Us multiplayer game is in development. The, you know, Last of Us 2 multiplayer thing, whatever you don't want to call it, is currently in development at Naughty Dog still. They showed an image of it, which we'll talk about in our next video. But that currently is not coming out this year. And we are going to get more information on it next year, so we'll have to wait and see on stuff for that. Since we are so close to the release, I expect gameplay in a couple weeks. Not going to be this month, probably early July, middle to late maybe, potentially, but we're not that far away, so it's definitely in Naughty Dog's best interest for release to show gameplay and to get more people hooked. So we will find out more information when we get more information, trailer, etc. I will be posting it on my YouTube channel social media so stay tuned for that guys also pre-orders are up for the last of us part one if you want to get it it's 70 dollars want to make that very clear there's also a digital deluxe edition which comes with the early unlock of the following in-game items increased crafting speed skill increased healing speed skill nine mm reload speed increase upgrade rifle clip capacity increase upgrade explosive arrows gameplay modifier uh a Punk filter, speed run mode, six weapon skins, which are the black and gold skin that you see right there. Sculpted oak and rubber tactical for the shotgun. And Ellie's bow is using carbon black, art white. Pre order receive in game bonus supplements and additional weapon skins. Now, there is also a Firefly edition, which unfortunately, guys, is sold out. I was lucky to get it because it sold out within an hour. Like, which was holy crap. That was super fast. So it comes with everything pretty much in the digital deluxe, but it comes with a steelbook case with full game and the American Dreams comics one through four with new cover art. 
So man, I, I just got this for the sake of the cover. The cover looks incredible. So I had to get it, man. I was like, so I'm one of those lucky people. I, I had to refresh the website for like 30 minutes to even get an attempt, and I was lucky to get it considering how fast it sold out. They'll probably have more editions available because I'll probably get asked questions about it. I've been asked about it a lot on Twitter. So you're going to have to stay tuned for that. But those are the two editions. $70 for the original. I believe it's $80 for the Digital Deluxe. And it's $100 for the Firefly. So Firefly edition is also US only. So I'm sorry if you are in another country. That kind of blows that Naughty Dog did that. But at least for now, that is the case. All right. So... That is pretty much everything we need to discuss with The Last of Us Remake. I may make a video soon discussing about people's opinions on it. Maybe. Considering I've seen a lot of stuff that I'm not very pleased with on the internet. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you guys did enjoy this, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Follow me on social media down below to stay connected. And stay tuned for my next video on The Last of Us multiplayer game coming in 2023. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.